Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be going over the flicker effect in Final Cut Pro. This is usually used in music videos, but can be used in a variety of different projects. Um, I'm gonna show you two ways to do the flicker effect here in Final Cut Pro. Now let's get right on into it. Okay, so we have our clip right here. I'm just gonna add the flicker effect. So we're gonna go to the effects tab and type in flicker. As you can see it right here, you just drag onto your clip. And let's play this clip. As you can see, the flicker effect is in effect. Now, you can make adjustments as you can see in the inspector panel, you can slow the flicker up the flicker amount speed it up you can add keyframes you can go from slow to fast if you want so if I add this keyframe right here I press this right here and go up in my timeline a bit and increase this flicker amount speed. As you can see, it's gonna go from slow flicker to fast flicker. That's nice. You can also change the opacity of the flicker so it won't be as dark. So it's a world of things you can do. And that is the first way to add the flicker effect in Final Cut Pro. Now, let me show you another way to add the flicker effect. Okay, so the second way to add the flicker effect is to go to uh, our generators tab right here. So you're gonna click on this um, titles and generator icon. And you are going to go to you're gonna to go to generators tab right here and you're gonna type in custom. And you're gonna drag this on top of your clip. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna zoom in a bit to the timeline and you're just gonna break. Um, okay, so command B. You can do that about every frame, one, one, oops, sorry, one, you can do that as many times as you want. Do it one more time. All right. Now, now you are going to go to every other frame and delete those off. Now you're gonna have something like this. So there's two ways you can do this. And if you wanna repeat these, you can just copy these and just paste them along the timeline like that. And you can just repeat that. And those are the two ways that you can add a flicker effect in Final Cut Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned from this. Um, if this video helps you out, please consider liking and subscribing because we will be dropping a lot of useful content on this channel. So stay tuned. You will not want to miss that. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. All right, bye.